Hey, welcome to StormyCast. My name is Norman, and we're going to be talking about shooting airplanes. And what we have something happening here with our meetup group here in Charlotte, North Carolina, that I'm really excited about. We are going to be going to, apparently there's an overlook near the Charlotte International Airport. And they're going to be planning to meet around 4 o'clock, I guess, just before the golden hour kicks in. Um, so I'm really excited to be able to meet some of the other photographers because there's a couple of people there that uh, specialize in aerial photography. And hopefully I'll be able to scratch your brain on some stuff that I have questions on how to properly shoot planes as they land, get that nice effect. But apparently we also have the skyline that's right, apparently right where this location is at. So we got like a total of, I think, like, Wow, about 18 other photographers that are going to be out there. So I've already sort of asked them what key lenses would be the best thing to bring with me. And they definitely say you want to have at least starting at a 70 to 200. Um, since I'm shooting Olympus, I'm going to be shooting with the 40 to 150. This is basically equivalent to a 80 to 300 lens with a 2.8. I'm going to be shooting with the, um, the Olympus OMD M1 not the two the one is what i'm going to be shooting with so let's uh get ready i'm going to finish packing up and for you it'll be a second to me it'll be the next day we'll see you at the uh airport hey, hello all i want to apologize i made it to the event as you can see a lot of people were there with big lenses ready to um, photograph the planes as they were landing or taking off Sorry to say I lost the key footage because I got there early and I met with Moose, who was the guy that arranged all this. He does a lot of aerial photography. So to find out and basically what his settings are when he takes pictures of planes. So he did inform me what he does. That's his sweet spot is basically just write this down. 400, pretty easy to you can memorize this, 400 um, shutter speed and 7.1 on the aperture setting. So aperture setting, you want to have it set at 7.1. ISO doesn't really matter because you're going to fluctuate depending on how the light is during that day. Um, a lot of us had to change it because it was rather gray out there initially uh, while we took pictures of these planes that landed. So I'm going to be just showing you some of the pictures that I've done and hopefully this could give you some ideas and go out and take pictures.